Hey guys, Pete here. This is going to be my Mr. Robot Season 3 Episode 7 trailer breakdown. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, I'll put a link here at the top that you can follow and watch it first. Here we're just going to look at the frame by frame, discuss what the voiceover says, and try to glean what we expect to happen in the next episode. The description of the trailer on the USA website is pretty interesting. It says, Mr. Robot wants answers. Price less than rose like a less than sign. FBI closes in. Nighttime in the desert. Night spelled K-N-I-G-H-T. Angela hits the rewind button. Period. A lot. Period. So it's a very interesting little synopsis there. And the voiceover goes like this. We hear Krista say, Elliot, what happened exactly? He responds, I don't know if I can say it. Leon's voice says, relax, calm down. Then Angela told you, everyone's going to be okay. She's saying that to Darlene, it looks like. Then we see Mr. Robot in Krista's office, and he says, It's not me he has to worry about. It's the others, the real string pullers. Over top of a quick sequence, we hear what sounds like Dom saying, Something's not adding up. And then the voiceover completes with Price saying, Why come after me? You got everything you wanted. Visually, the trailer opens with Elliot staring at the screen, seeing the 71 buildings being destroyed from the end of episode 6, and we see him turn around, pull up his hood, and take off. Then we get a shot of him in what looks like Krista's home office. We hear Krista's part of the voiceover go, and we see her looking at him in that same room. Then we see a book of mug shots, which has Elliot in it, and we can see that it's Tyrell that's looking through the book. I tell this because later we see that he's handcuffed to the table and the hand next to the book is clearly handcuffed in the same way. So it appears that the FBI is questioning Tyrell about who Elliot is or where Elliot is. That's a little bit strange when you think about it because they know who Elliot is. They know through Darlene, who's working with them. And Darlene's given us the impression that there's some kind of deal in place that includes Elliot. So we don't really know what the FBI is trying to accomplish here. If they're trying to establish his loyalty to Elliot, on the other hand, they could be saying, we're working with these guys and if you don't give us what we want, you're going to take the blame for the whole entire thing. Then we see the desert, and Leon is driving. That goes down when we hear his voiceover of calm down, relax. The title of the episode is Frederick and Tanya, which we know are the two names that Trenton and Mobley assumed at the end of season two when they were in California in the end credit scene. This is sort of the big mystery of the trailer, I would say, because we haven't heard from them. Trenton seemed to think she had an unway of decrypting the files at minimum at the end of the season, but there may be more to what she actually said. And now we see Leon driving, and we see him a couple other times, but they're noticeably not in any of the shots. Are they in the trunk? Well, we'll see in some other photos that it could be exactly that, but I'm not 100% sold on that idea yet because it's almost like they're foreshadowing it so hard that it could be a red herring. We see that Angela and Darlene are talking. We see Angela on the floor in her apartment. We can guess that this is a continuation of their conversation at the end of episode 6. This is post finding out that all those buildings exploded, but we don't really know why Angela thinks that everyone was going to be okay. Darlene looks intrigued, but we don't really get anything more. And like I said, we get a then we get sort of a quick cut of a new F Society video, an aerial shot of Leon's car with a clear grave dug in the desert there. We'll see him digging that later, but it's clearly the shape of a human body, the hole that he dug. Cuts back into the F Society video, what makes you wonder who would be making this one. See Tyrell in the FBI being interrogated again. You can see the book there on the table. We see a straight on shot of him where he looks resolved, but can't really tell what's happening. In the first one, he could be crying. He could be finding out about his wife and that whole situation, but there's no way to know for sure. 
And then we see where Mr. Robot is talking to Krista in her home office. And that's where we get that part of the voiceover that it's not him that he has to worry about. He's indicating to Krista that he's now on Elliot's side. And the, the common enemy is the string pullers, which we cut right into Price and White Rose. And those are the people that I assume he's talking about. They appear to be having a meal at what looks like Mar-a-Lago, as far as I know still we see Irving in his shop this ties into several of the other shots we see here we see someone ringing the bell over and over to get his attention that should be in Irving's shop and that should be Mr. Robot as far as I can tell from the rest they keep showing that as they cut to some different things we see White Rose's assistant I can't say for sure where he is in this shot it could just be at the place where we saw White Rose in the past we see Mr. Robot swing open some doors. When I first saw this, I assumed this was at Krista's, and I haven't seen anything to make me change my mind yet. Cuts back to the bell, ringing the bell again. There's a shot of Elliot up against the bookcase that we saw in the trailer way back when. So he's sitting there thinking about what he's going to do. Shot of Tyrell through the window, still at the FBI, and this is where Price is talking about, why did you come after me? You got everything you wanted. An aerial shot of Leon digging the hole in the desert. Mr. Robot in the back of the car. And I've been looking at this one because there's a ref we can see someone in the reflection. I assume that this is him arriving at Irving's place because we see him there in a second. But the person in the reflection is wearing a suit. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. Yeah, the very next shot we see Mr. Robot standing in Irving's service center lot. You can expect that that's right before he goes in and starts ringing the bell. Cuts back to him sleeping in the car with the person outside knocking on the window. The person knocking could just be a driver. It could be someone that delivered him from point A to point B. Just seemed weird to me that you could see that he was wearing a suit. And then we get a couple of shots of the harp player first from the end of the season. Is the, the harp player, I think, is an indication that this is a flashback to that same conversation. Otherwise, it could be just the same room. But I mean, you can see Price and White Rose and her minister Zhang get up looking at the harp player. So it seems like it's the exact same time as it was before. Hopefully we'll learn more about what they were talking about in that scene in relation to Congo and everything else. Remember, this is just post 5-9 the first time. See Leon sitting there with a telephone in his hand and he looks to be waiting for a call. And then the trailer ends with Dom looking at what I guess to be the board on the FBI wall of the investigation. So this gives us a lot of ideas of where the final third of the season is headed, but it is a pretty mysterious trailer overall as far as the Leon stuff and the Angela stuff. It gives us an idea that we're really going to figure out why Angela is doing what she's doing when she's talking to Darlene, and I kind of hope that's the case, but we can't say for sure. Clearly, if 71 buildings blew up and there were a thousand people dead, that doesn't equate with what she's saying that I told you everyone was going to be all right. So this could be a key moment in understanding Angela's character if it plays out how the trailer is leading us to believe it is. With Leon, we could be finding out the fate of Trenton and Mobley. The desert, I mean, it looks out west. That's out west. That's not in New York, you know. So wherever he's doing involves a situation in the western part of the United States, the show title mentions Trenton and Mobley's names, but is that enough to go off of the fact that they're definitely dead? I hope not. I mean, I hope they're not, I hope they don't die off screen at least. Um, I hope there's more to it, but how would we know? We do know that they were crossed out on the FBI's board, but that doesn't really add up either. So those are my big takeaways from it. I mean, I, I think it's interesting that Krista comes back into the picture because she can also bring out Mr. Robot and talk to him. I'll be curious to understand if they are going to be on the same side. I mean, that was sort of the cliffhanger before the cliffhanger in the last episode was now that they did work together to save the building in Manhattan, what would Mr. Robot do? This seems to be that he is on Elliot's side, but to what end? You know, we have really no idea. And it does say in the thing that the FBI is getting closer, so they probably will be learning some important information from Tyrell. 
They may also be getting an idea that Santiago is working with the Dark Army, but we're going to have to wait and see. The way this season's been going, I can't wait. Let me know what you guys think about the trailer in the comments. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure you turn on notifications so you'll know when my new Mr. Robot videos come out. Follow me on Twitter or my other social media accounts so we can interact over there. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon.